Okay, so a video of the snow we got yesterday. So yeah, we got the deck shoveled off last night. Um, the railing was just, it was just about to the top of the railing. Um, it took a long time. This was really bad. We couldn't get the snow blower out here, obviously. So Diana and I were out here with shovels, got most of it off. What's left here is just some ice from the last storm. Dog pen. It's settled. Snow has settled a bit, but it was pretty much about up to the top of that um, septic vent there. Maybe a, up to about a foot or a foot and a half underneath it. <clears throat> so this was all shoveled by hand because the snowblower couldn't get it around the back of the house. But you can see the grill and the table and the smoker are all buried in two chairs. This is where the recycling bins were, but they moved those into the garage. But this will give you a better idea of how deep it was. Yeah, it was pretty pretty intense. But the nice thing was it was pretty light, soft snow. So it wasn't too hard to move. At least not with a snowblower, but when you're out here shoveling it, it really sucked. <laughs> and cut this path out to the shed so I could get the roof rake and whatnot. Well, yep, yeah, same kind of thing you can see is pretty deep. Well, it has settled a bit. <coughs> Let's see. So, yeah, we didn't need the generator. It never, uh, we never lost power, which was nice. But it was out here. It's all ready. It's all plugged in. So, I don't know. I'll dig it out today and put it back in the garage, I guess. The hinges on this door broke. And so did the one on this one, so... I don't know, it's what you get, lowest bidder and all that stuff, but it should be more than a hundred bucks to replace both doors and the hinges, get something a little bit sturdier. This area here was buried up to about that line, um, just from all the drifting and whatnot. I'm still going to clean this up a bit, but yeah, the roof of the breezeway had about a five foot drift on it. They pulled all that down last night and... Um, dug it out of here and used a snowblower and whatnot to move it. And you can see the garage roof has about a four foot drift on top of it. I cut a lot of it off there with a roof rake to get rid of it, get the weight off. The main roof is still covered, skylights are covered. Dug this path yesterday just so we could out of the house in case it was a problem. Plus I had to dig a path for the oil guy from that snow bank all the way up along here so we could get oil and propane delivered. There was about a five foot drift on these steps so we couldn't have got the door open if we had to so that had to be cleaned out. But, yeah, a lot of elbow grease, but we got it all taken care of. That sucker's about four feet, five feet tall. All these plants in the front are buried. And it's supposed to warm up a bit today into the low 30s, so hopefully a lot more of this will melt. I ran out of sand, and we're having some neighbors over for a little holiday get-together tomorrow afternoon. So I'm going to get this all sanded down so it's not slippery. So make a trip to the sand pile, but other than that, went pretty good. Snow blower was a beast. Didn't have any problems with it. Fired right up. Ran like a champ. Moved all the snow. So, yeah, I've turned into a big fan of Husqvarna tools. My uh, chainsaw and my snow blower, and I think our weed eater is a Husqvarna. But, yeah, it's been cold out, so <laughs> has it melted off. But I think this afternoon I'll run the heater in here and get all this melted off and cleaned yeah, so I can put it away and get it ready for the next time. But, yeah. Haven't done anything to the money. Still waiting for a wiring diagram. 
that's been held up because of the post office. He's just overwhelmed with packages and stuff. I did start working back here again on the um, package tray, trying to figure out how I'm going to get the speakers in. So that's yeah, another project. But anyway, that cooler is full of Christmas cookies, by the way. <clears throat> in addition to the ones we have in the fridge and down in the basement, we're putting all those together to give away as gifts for neighbors and family and stuff. So anyway, that's it. Snowmageddon 2020. And I hear there's another one may hit on Christmas Day. So, yeah, we'll get ready for that one, too. So, all right, we'll catch you later.